Hi guys, Jacob from Gamer Code Studios here, and today we're going to look at um, creating some graphics um, for the accordion plugin uh, for Rapid Weaver, and it's uh, made by uh, Your Head Software. And this tutorial assumes that you've already have Rapid Weaver and you have the accordion plugin, and you're kind of familiar with how that works. So today we're going to talk about how to create a nice. Um, set of graphics and, and kind of you know take it to the next level from the regular boring accordion and you being able to um, uh, create anything you know that you can imagine um, and so today that's what we'll look at and so this is what we're going to create a nice header image and a content box and then what we're going to do is if we go over to rapid weaver um, this is the example we just have a little mock set up here and this is the functionality that we're looking for so this is the look and feel that we're making a nice accordion to contain information on a website. You'll be familiar with this, but now we kind of have this custom look now. So let's get right into Pixelmator and um, creating these things. And I'll shut off this example and we'll get started with um, creating our header image. So go up to the Marquee tool, make sure you're on Square and Mode 1. We're going to make a a header image the size loosely around 400 by 50 pixels um, and so we'll pull a little bit bigger than that we'll pull 415 by let's say 65 because we're gonna round the corners and we're gonna um, shrink this just slightly here so I'll zoom in a little bit and we want to make sure we're on a new layer and then we'll refine the selection and um, right here and we'll refine the selection I would say negative five percent is good and we'll smooth one it gives us gives us the right nice just a little bit of rounded corner should be fine and then um, we'll pull a gradient on this that we've already created here and um, kind of just show you the code so you can reproduce this if you want so here's there's a darker one and then kind of a medium color and then the lightest color here okay and then we will choose our gradient tool and just pull a quick gradient on this very nicely and just make sure it's lined up our angle is at zero and that's good and then choose a new layer and we'll leave the selection on this shape here because we're going to put a stroke to kind of define the edge a little bit. And so we'll go edit stroke um, and uh, make sure it's black. Width 1 is good. And then we'll uh, choose center is fine. Okay, and then we can command D for deselect. And so if we back out, it just kind of defines that edge uh, real nicely so we can choose what we want there that's fine okay and then go ahead and command and let's link these two together so um, if we want to move it um, in fact we'll move it up out of the way so let's create the content box now um, pretty simple um, marquee tool we won't need to round the corners on this so we'll just do a content box a little bit smaller than the header so Let's say the width will be 405 by um, 350 should be fine. It's really your own preference. So 350 by 405. And so we've created a new layer here for our, um, our gradient here. So let's pull that gradient now for our content box. And we'll just line it up. And that should be fine for now. Okay, and so we have our content box now. We'll keep the selection, we'll add a new layer, and we'll do the same thing, we'll add a stroke, and we should um, still have the same settings, and so we can just hit OK, and then Command D Select. And so that's it, we've created some simple graphics, um, and now we're gonna show you how to um, use them <coughs> in Accordion in Rapid Weaver. And the nice thing is I have the header shut off, so with just the content box and the um, 
the stroke that's showing I can export this so you go up to um, file export for web choose PNG and go ahead and export that to your desktop just to make sure you, you can find it easily and um, then what I would do next is shut off the content box and turn on the header and its stroke and export this also and so what you're going to get is on your desktop um, you'll get both um, PNG files there and then right click on each one of them and go to open with Pixelmator again and then what you'll do is you'll crop it as tight as you can um, around your image and so it'll look like it is here. I already have it done. Um, if I open this up you can see that I've taken out all the unneeded space here. And so that's one quick easy way we can do that. Okay, so let's move over to um, Rapid Weaver here and just show you where we are. We added it, an accordion page here, and if you're familiar with Rapid Weaver, um, you would open your um, uh, page inspector and go over to the wrench icon here. And the first thing you want to do under effects is leave this just like it is, but choose clicking an open title closes it and click. Um, choose all items start out closed. That's the first thing you want to do. And then under titles, um, that's talking about our title bar here. Um, this isn't really important right now. You want to have border and background shut off. Um, this is going to be our structure where we have to put in some numbers here. But this is the most important thing is from our desktop we can just drag and drop. If I pull this down here and I'll just show you, you can drag and drop right in to the image well um, right in the page inspector which is nice. So for now the header goes in here and then the same with the content box there's an image well for that too. Now let's go into the edit mode in Rapid Weaver and for those um, for the accordion to appear we have to add at least one if not two um, accordions and um, give them a title and put some content in there and I just put some dummy text um, to fill space essentially and so once we do that we want to um, when we first drop it in you'll notice when you preview it you're gonna see it's pretty messed up usually and so we'll need to go into um, we'll start with our title go to structure and if you've created this header the same size, followed my tutorial and created the same size, this number should work for you. The width should be 406 and the height 56. Um, no margin. Padding, the top would be 10. The left padding will be 21 and the right will be 5. And so those should work for you. And then if we go over to the content box under structure, the width is 372, margin only on the left side 5, and then padding is the top 10, bottom 18, and left and right is 19. This should work. Okay, and then the only, di the only thing we're going to do a little different is on the content box on the image, we're going to change its position to negative 3, and I'll show you what that does is it takes the box and it kind of tucks it up underneath the header just slightly and it gives it a little bit better look there. And so just put that to negative three. You can use Pixelmator for some powerful things. It's really limited to your imagination what you can make for your header image and your content box. Um, and of course, you know, you'll style the text and the title with the controls right in um, uh, the page inspector. Well, thank you guys, and that was it for this tutorial. We'll see you next time, and we'll talk more about um, the different uh, um, images in um, the second image well in accordion.